Assalamu alaikum, 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Munib Hamid. Firstly, headlines. Justice retired Dost Muhammad Khan took oath as caretaker chief minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in Peshawar today. Election Commission will decide on names for caretaker chief minister of Punjab and Balochistan if parliamentary committees of the two provincial assemblies fail to reach consensus about it today. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youth in Kupwara district today. In women's T20 Asia Cup at Kuala Lumpur, Pakistan beat Sri Lanka by 23 runs. And now the news in detail. Justice retired Dost Muhammad Khan took oath as caretaker chief minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in Peshawar today. Governor Iqbal Zafar Jhagra administered the oath. The oath-taking ceremony was also attended by former chief minister Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Parvez Khatak. Later talking to media men in Peshawar this afternoon, caretaker chief minister Khyber Pakhtunkhwa said, holding a free, fair and transparent elections is the topmost priority of caretaker government. It said that efforts will be made to give maximum relief to the people during its brief term. Caretaker Chief Minister said the provincial cabinet will be small and the ministers will be inducted on the basis of merit. The Election Commission says it will decide on names for Caretaker Chief Minister of Punjab and Balochistan if parliamentary committees of the two provincial assemblies fail to reach consensus about it today. In a statement issued today, the Election Commission spokesman said both the assemblies completed their constitutional term on the 31st of the last month. He said the Chief Minister and opposition leaders of the two assemblies had time to decide names of caretaker Chief Minister by 3rd of this month. And then parliamentary committees had three days to decide, which will complete today. Chief Justice of Pakistan, Justice Mia Saqib Nisar, has taken notice of attack on journalist Asad Karel on Tuesday night at Lahore when he was coming out of Lahore airport. Taking notice of the issue, he has called report from Inspector General of Police, Punjab, within 24 hours. A three-member bench of the Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice Saqib Nisar has ordered all respondents in the Asghar Khan case to submit written replies within a week. During the proceedings today when the Apex Court summoned former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, the Attorney General said that he will be represented in the court by his counsel. On this, the bench adjourned proceedings of the case till 12th of this month. The next hearing of the case will be held in the Hall Registry. The Supreme Court has announced its judgment in manhandling case of former Chief Justice of Pakistan, Iftikhar Muhammad Chaudhary, rejecting petitions of police and other officers. SSP Motorway Police, Jamil Hashmi, SSP Captain Ritai Zafar and DSP Ruksar Ahmed were arrested from the premises of the Apex Court. Sentence of former Inspector General Islamabad Police, Iftikhar Ahmed and former Chief Commissioner and Deputy Commissioner Islamabad was also restored. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh acts of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youth in Kupwara district today. The troops killed the youth during a cordon and search operation in Wachil area of the district. The operation continued till reports last came in. Chairman All Parties Hurriyat Conference Sayyid Ali Gilani has said that Kashmiri people are facing the worst kind of Indian state terrorism. He lamented over the illegal detention of senior APHC leader Musarad Alam Butch and said political detainees in occupied Kashmir were being subjected to vengeance and ill treatment. The APHC chairman appealed to international community to take cognizance of the human rights abuses being committed by the Indian troops in the occupied territory. United Arab Emirates and Qatar will send military forces in Afghanistan under the Resolute Support Mission. The National Security Council of Afghanistan has approved the proposal in this regard. Forces of both countries will train and support Afghan forces under the Afghan NATO Security Agreement. In the seventh match of women's T20 Asia Cup at Kuala Lumpur, Pakistan beat Sri Lanka by 23 runs. Batting first, Pakistan set a victory target of 137 runs for the loss of four wickets. Sri Lanka could score 113 runs for the loss of nine wickets in the stipulated 20 overs. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.